Hello friends, this is Sagar Chon from SG Creation and today I'm going to show you how to make object inspection system like this. When you press F, the object come to you come and you can rotate like this with your mouse and when you press F again it will go back. You can use this system in into your project. You can pick any item with this system it depends on your need and one more things sorry about my english is not so good so please forgive me okay let's close this and open my brand new project i already said this i use this i use first person template to make this tutorial so first of all we need to go in project setting make one input name it inspection I use F key you can use whatever you want I use F key and just call this into your first person character blueprint inspection inspection sorry okay so when we press we do some we do something so we need a flip-flop flip-flop is a kind of uh, switch when we press it can do this by it can do that so it's kind of a switch you can use like fan switch <laughs> when you press it will on when you press again it will off so so what we need we need a camera because we want to fire line trace from the camera location and just click over a uh, drag and type get world location we need a uh, world location <coughs> various cameras and then get forward vector get forward vector how far our line trace go so just multiply by float how far how long our uh, line trace length you want I just set it 1000 uh, you can set 700 is good and then we just add vector plus vector just and click this and we need line trace line trace by channel so when we hit when we press button we need a camera location and this will set our line trace so you can just check this I set it for duration or you can set one frame so y you can just check this by hitting when did you see line trace will come so for duration it will stay like this so how far we fire okay like this it is you know very short so we make a little bit long just put over here thousand is good so we use thousand okay then we make a branch 
and one more thing you can just break result but I like just split pins in here you know when we hit something and hit is true like when we hit something and hit is true and and that hit is our actor or our pickup set this over here set inspection object sorry spelling mistake inspection so uh, when we press um, F and then line trace if hit something and that is our pickup actor though we just set this first and what we need one more thing over here we just create one blueprint actor class just click this uh, actor you can just master blueprint I name is master blueprint you can name whatever you want just go and add skeleton because I have mostly skeleton meshes not a static mesh just click over here and I use rifle so go in take uh, this on just into middle and one more thing set this collision custom otherwise it won't work for you and ignore pawn and you can set this like like this and collision enable query okay just set like this and what we do we just cast master BP from here if hit actor is our master BP then we do something we want to do something then we can get actor location get actor location and we need actor rotation also get actor rotation okay and promote this to a variable both of uh, just or F just promote this to a variable name name inspection object okay we need save this and we need one more we need promote this variable location oh man location my typing is so slow Oh, even a spelling mistake sorry and one more thing we need one boolean name it is inspecting uh, if it is true then set it and if it is true and 
this is and that hit is uh, that object is master bp then we inspecting set this set this like this okay you can do like this also and what we need we need one timeline so let's create a timeline timeline add timeline mm, move name it move object so timeline is basically it can very useful for creating things so name it move after I create one float and uh, what we do uh, just right click on anywhere this is uh, it create a key and name we want this key into zero time it will go in it just zero it will automatically go into zero and the value is zero also and right click add key I want this key into 1.5 second it will automatically go into 1.5 second and I want in one value so you can look it is go over here so select both of the shift click both of a right click and then auto it will turn a smooth line on one thing uh, the length of your timeline is 5 we want only 1.5 exactly like white l white thing from here to here okay just compile and save this timeline and then what we want when we set this we want to play this timeline and now promote this to a variable call move actor move actor and set it set on update and after this you can create one more thing <coughs> where we want to show this object from we just make one sphere collusion and we just this is the direction or you can s it's a position where we want this item hover into in front of camera so this is the location name it location inspection location location and uh, for this uh, just no collusion set it no collusion otherwise your your pickup will collide the, uh, with this so just click this take this and get world location we want this location and we lerp this lerp is a smooth transition between two two distance or whatever you set it will lerp with that location so 
so now go into we just drag over here and what we want set actor location and rotation so just plug this and make some reroute 